My name is Claudia Tornquist. I'm the president and CEO of Kodiak Copper. Kodiak is a copper exploration company focused on the MPD project in southern British Columbia. The company is founded by our chairman, Chris Taylor, of Great Bear fame. We've at MPD a big drill program going on this year, up to 10,000 meters, and just today had the first results. So very pleased to tell you more. I'm excited. I want to hear about it as well. <laughs> okay, well, we, we, first things first, we're here at the Beaver Creek Conference. You're yeah. here having lots of meetings, presumably. Yeah. Who with, how are they going? Going very well, very yeah. full diary, lots of interest from investors. So um, yeah, good first day and looking forward to the rest of the conference. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I know it seems quite packed. Everyone's quite excited about this one. So it, it seems to be more people here than last year, which is always a good sign. For the market, and I was told, right, okay, okay, with, with the drum roll, mm -hmm. the results, please. How, <laughs> how have you done? Because I think people are looking forward to this. Yeah, well, it's the first results from our 2024 program mm -hmm. from a zone called Edit, which we have built for the first time this year. And we got in our first hole a nice near surface high grade intercept okay. um, over 150 meters of 0.76% oh, copper really equivalent. Yeah. So that's around about three times the grade than what's mined at the mines in the area. Yeah. And in a nice long intercept in total was 357 meters of 0.46% copper equivalent. So certainly a nice start and more also come from oh, so, so pleased actually because I, I, I hadn't seen that one before you came in and, mm -hmm. and he told me it was it would come out. I said, but I, I won't let you spoil the surprise. You can tell me live. And here we are. That's fantastic because that, that's going to step up almost from sort of um, what's gone on before. And I think Marco would look to you and say, look, we need that next discovery. We need that next discovery. You said that to me when we were sp yep. spoken as well. What's the point after this first drill hole where you can mm -hmm. sort of indicate and point to a new discovery? Well, our aim for this year's drill program was to focus more on near surface mineralization, find more high grade near surface. Mm. And that's very much um, what this first hole um, certainly achieved. Right. Um, we've drilled more holes at the same same zone. So right. let's see what else we can come up with. Right. But that's very important because looking forward, that type of material, that's what will be important for a resource and mm. for, for initial economics, etc. So very pleased about this initial how many result. More, how many more meters and what's the time frame until we start seeing some more of these results coming through? We will have, we're still drilling um, as we speak. Yeah. And we will have by the end of September when we pack in the drill rigs, yeah. drilled just under 10,000 meters roughly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we'll have results coming throughout the autumn and winter and into 2025. So it's from the three till the end of the drill season. And then, and so I guess the then what question, you've got to reassess, you've got to look at the data and work out what to do next. Mm -hmm. How long does that take? Well. That's typically what you do over the winter. Right. And so lots more work to be coming. And then next year in spring is when we'll start drilling again. So how do you feel about this kind of copper market at the moment, right? It seems, it seems the copper companies aren't necessarily getting the love. Copper price is fine, four times. I'm happy with that. Hopefully it keeps, it keeps moving. But I'm not getting a lot of love at the moment and, and attention. Therefore, I guess kind of cost of money is, is a little bit tough out there. So how do you, how do you kind of play the market bit of this equation. Now you've told us about the drawing bit. Well, it's certainly a very frustrating time for myself and other CEOs to see our share prices where they are mm -hmm. um, at very low levels. All the producers I just read, um, they bet their, um, beat their um, uh, earnings estimates are uh, making lots of money and the copper price certainly is, is not weak at all. But yeah, uh, the market is very much risk off. And so um, share prices fall. Yes. The juniors are very depressed from an investor's perspective, of course. Mm. That's the time when you want to buy. And um, my pitch certainly to investors is for a company like Kodiak, mm. where uh, we have lots more results to come, lots more news flow. Mm. Um, that's the time when you want to look at a company like ourselves. Right, and in terms, in terms of the that kind of investor profile and the, the kind of groups of people that you're talking to here today, they're, they're asking what? What's their kind of demands 
of you as a company CEO? What, what do they want to hear? They want good uh, results. Simple as that. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Um, I think that's key to how yeah. we generate um, value. And so in the longer term and going forward, I think also working towards a resource will be something right. um, we that um, we will eventually do. And that's certainly also something I hear from investors. Right. But without it, obviously showing early signs of potential, you'll kind of reserve judgment as to how you play that and how much more drying goes on there. Because the re first resource is kind of, it's the first flag on the ground. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is the kind of company we are. It's got to be enough. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it? Yep. Well, we've always said um, from the start, our vision for the MPD project was that it has size potential mm. and the potential to become a major mine. Mm. And for that reason, it was never our strategy to just define a small resource early on, mm. to put in an, an anchor at a low level, so to speak. Yeah. So our strategy was always to drill until we're confident when we bring out a resource that it will be a sizable and good one. So that's really what we're, we're aiming towards. And we now have three high-grade zones that we have um, drilled um, to date. The gate zone, west, and now added. Yeah. And that certainly will um, be very helpful in eventually um, defining that resource. That's really what, what we need more of because that's the initial economics of, of any mine, these, these near surface high grade zones. Yeah, for, 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 for sure. But do you think, do you think that kind of um, those targets are evolving? So when I look around the marketplace and I sort of see some companies like put out a resource and the market goes, what? whatever, you know, it's not, it's not enough. Um, well, whatever their views are on whatever the company's done. And you know, it's, it's really important that for that first wave. Do you think, but do you think that sort of target is moving? It's like, you, I think the resource you know, size last year would have been different from maybe the resource size this year in terms of what market needs more all of the time. You're under pressure all of the time to deliver to the market. You're also under pressure to kind of, as I'm sure Chris will attest, but he did when you and I saw you both in P at PDAC in, in Toronto back in whenever that March. You know, it's, it's about kind of setting out your stall for industry players mm -hmm. as well because they know what they want. They don't necessarily need those economic studies. Um, they don't, but the, what they do need is that scale and be able to see line of sight to that scale. So various ways you play this, aren't there? Mm -hmm. Well, for us, really demonstrating that scale potential, that's what we are aiming to mm. do. And um, yeah, that's what, what will make the project attractive to investors and to, to um, majors and to people from the outside. Right. I don't know there's much more to say. It looks like there's early stages of something quite nice here. Will you come and talk to us in September when you've kind of wrapped everything up and we know what the rest of the numbers look like? Well, I'm certainly happy to, to come talk more when we have more results. And Perfect. Yeah, there will be many of those um, over the next couple of months. Perfect. Thank you, Claudia. <laughs> Thank Appreciate you. it. Appreciate it.